Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are on day three of 100, dealing with Autodesk Fusion. Um, what we're going to be doing here specifically is looking at Revolve and uh, some shortcuts you can use when drawing a sketch using lines uh, and drawing arcs real easily. Just first to throw some real quick sketches out there, uh, I'm going to do some of those shortcuts. So what you see is the piece here we're going to make, um, but uh, instead of making it on the Fusion application, uh, since the majority of my students are probably going to be um, building this on the browser-based version since they have Chromebooks, I'm going to uh, have my videos now starting to mostly be using the browser-based version. So with that being said, how do we get to it? So um, I just Googled A360, uh, A360 from home, and it will ask you to sign in. So this Autodesk 360 is the browser-based version of Autodesk, and uh, most of the package is in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and sign in, and <clears throat> you'll notice it say Muncie Central High School, since I've logged on with um, my Muncie Central High School uh, email. Under admin project, projects that are localized to me, you'll find out that I've already made this piece and it'll show up in here. But to make this piece, I'm going to make it from scratch. How do we do that exactly? So I'm going to click on new and fusion design. And instead of opening up in the application, it's now going to open up in a tab on my browser. So if you have a Chromebook or a device that doesn't allow internal storage or can't really run the application, you can do the, the browser-based version. So most of what we're going to be able to do in here is going to be uh, allow us to uh, do what we need to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start a sketch. And it doesn't really matter which plane we're starting on um, because all we're going to do is do one revolve here. When later on we might do assemblies, you might want to keep in mind of our working planes. But for right now, we're okay. The one thing I'm going to look at very specifically is this line function right here. So when you draw a line, um, you notice that you click once and it allow you to draw almost anywhere. There's two dimensions. There's the angle, and then there's also the length of the line. When you draw lines, it will automatically put in dimensions as far as angle and length, but you are able to go back and, and change those dimensions easily. So I'm going to make a piece very similar to what I did earlier and um, what you can see right here is I just did uh, a simple shape and then I revolved it so I'm going to make something similar. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line straight up and draw a line straight over. Now there's a hidden feature in lines that if you hold down on the mouse button it allows you to go ahead and make an arc and depending on which direction you uh, hold your mouse you can either arc upwards or you could arc downwards. And I'm going to go ahead and just make an arc upwards real quick. And then I'm going to hold the mouse down again and then make an arc downwards. Now I'm going to go ahead and make just a funky shape just so we can see the extents of what we can do here. So notice I did not hold down on the mouse there to just draw a straight line. I'm going to do another uh, upward arc. Let's see if this will help me. And actually, I'm going to try to do a downward facing arc here first. There we go. Oh, let's try this first. Mm -hmm. oh, oh. Here we go. Uh oh, it's not working for me right now. So let's see why I can do this. Uh, if you can't quite get it right with your mouse, which seems like I'm having a trouble with, we can actually just go ahead and just click on the arc button. So I'm going to get a hit escape and just make that arc for me. There we go. Cool. And back to my lines. Uh, let's just make a one more curve downwards. Cut inwards uh, a little bit and go straight across. Now most people here are going to forget one thing that I, I see people do uh, wrong is not completing the sketch to make a profile. Right now I've just drawn a bunch of lines um, that don't really have an end point. There's nothing connecting this point, point of my line right here to this point. So as far as Autodesk is concerned, um, this isn't a full side profile yet. So make sure when you are using the Revolve feature that you still 
go ahead and complete your sketch. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and then hit escape and then stop sketch. Alrighty, now let's try this revolve feature. So underneath the create tab, you're gonna see revolve. It's gonna ask what profile would you wanna revolve? And then across which axis are we gonna revolve this around? And the axis that I'm going to choose is going to be that center axis right there, rotated a full 360 degrees. And there we go. Click OK. And there is my piece. Now you notice it allowed us to choose our axes as far as uh, different directions to revolve. So I'm gonna undo that real quick. And let's revolve again, but instead of uh, that axis, let's do a different one. Let's try this one. Click OK. And notice my body I made was totally different. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we got for the Revolve feature and being able to use it quickly in Autodesk. Now, what I'm going to do finally is I'm going to go ahead and save, and we're going to call this um, Revolve Practice. 0.3 uh, Revolve Practice. Now, when I save it, since this is all browser-based, it's going to save this in the cloud uh, for, of Autodesk. And so if I refresh my page right here, we should see Revolve Practice right here. So that way, in case you want to work on a different machine or um, for whatever reason, uh, you don't want to carry around a flash drive with all your files on it, uh, Autodesk will save all of your Fusion parts. All right, I guess that's all we got for today, and I'll see you later.